Hi everyone and welcome back to Chess for Charity. In this video, I'm going to show you a really cool mate in two for white. So currently, black's pawns are going down the board and white's pawn is going up the board. And your job is to find the checkmate in two for white. Can you find it? It's not super hard, but it's also not trivial either. See if you can find it. I'll give you a moment. While you're thinking about this, let me quickly encourage you to subscribe if you have not yet already. Half of the income that I earn on this channel goes to charity. So every like, every subscriber helps me out so much. And that's supposed to be a smiley face. Okay, so it's white to move here. I'm just going to tell you what I thought. The first thing I thought was king e8, looking for queen f8 mate. Unfortunately, they have a good defense to this. What is the defense? Well, it's h7 to h6 with the pawn. Now, why is that a good defense? Well, if I go to check you... It's not checkmate in two, but this is pinned, by the way, like this. It's not even checkmate in three. Instead, I have to give this up. It's a much longer process. And I still win, but it's not going to be mate in a couple. It'll be longer. So that was the first thought I had. Maybe you had the same thought. And then I thought, okay, maybe I push the pawn, check, move the king here, move the queen here. Not really, right? I was thinking here, there. All these squares I want to go to are cut off. If only I can play, place my queen right there, right? If only. It's not how it works. So I kept thinking, okay, what is the move here? And then I realized, what if I threaten to get to the back rank? So what if I play like queen f4, right? That's a, that's a really sneaky move because I'm threatening this one. I'm also threatening this one or maybe even this one. So I thought that's good. Because if they play h6, they cut me off from here, but then I can get here. Well, unfortunately, still, they have this h7 square. So then it became, the thought was about this h7 square. And how do I prevent this h7 square as being an escape route? And that's a bit of a hint. If you want to think about how you could possibly remove that square, take a moment. So one way to do that is to get on the diagonal. So I thought, what if I went... Queen b1 on this diagonal, threatening this direction and threatening that direction. The idea here being if they play h6, now I have a fancy little mate in one. But here's the question for you. If they play this move, or sorry, if I play this move, queen b1, what is their best defense to prevent the mate, the mate in one move? Well, for black, they don't play h4. Instead, they play f2. And they're guarding this square with the pawn, clearly, and this square with this pawn, which means it's not going to be mate in two, it'll be mate in a couple. So the best move would be something like queen c2, you promote, that's fine, I can just checkmate you, no problem there. So this kind of maybe illuminates the solution a little bit more. I want to get to a place where I can see the back rank, perhaps, see these squares, perhaps, and I was thinking about this, and I'm like, okay, what's the square? And then one square kind of pops out. And maybe you see it, maybe you don't. So maybe you're thinking something like queen h4. What if something like this kind of idea? But then again, h6 hits you, and you can't make use of it. And this is the answer to the puzzle. Ready? Last chance to pause it if you do not want to see the solution. The answer to this puzzle is queen e4. Now, what is queen e4 doing? Look at this, centralizing the queen in one of these key four squares. From here, it has so much power. So, let's just look at black's moves. Well, if black plays a move like f2, what is that move doing? That move is giving up this square, g2. So I can play king, sorry, queen g2, mate. Okay, now just look at what this queen's observing. From here, she's observing g6, g4, and if this pawn moves, like I mentioned, g2, but also through this pawn, a8, so if this pawn moves, one or two, it doesn't matter, I can give check rate on, checkmate on the back rank. And this is the beauty of the position here and the beauty of this puzzle. The reason why this move is the answer is h6 is now met with this killer, queen g6 checkmate. So this mate in two is not that hard, if you think about it in terms of winning the game, because you have a queen and they have a rook and they're kind of stalemated, 
but the point is to see how to best utilize your pieces. And that's what's important about these puzzles. Queen e4 is centralizing the queen, making the best use, and no matter what they do next, you're gonna win. They play a move like this, covering this square, this square. Well, they left the diagonal open, bang, that's checkmate. All right, every move that they make, there's a weakness, there's a weakness that's created. So I'm either gonna move here for mate, here for mate, here for mate, here for mate, or in the case of I just showed, on d5. So just look at the squares on the board that I'm gonna checkmate from. Here, 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 and there. Look at the beauty of that. From this one square, she can access all of these key squares depending on what black does. That is a powerful queen. So hopefully you got something out of this video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe. All that stuff helps me out so much and it helps out charity. But that is it for now. Thank you so much. Bye.